YouTube, it's your boy Matty G here. I'm just going to do a quick comparison between the Xbox 360 Elite, the older version, compared to the Xbox 360 250GB, the newer version. Now, I'm just, this is going to be a really full depth review, but I'm going to cover everything you need to know the differences between the two Xbox 360s. Number one, if you notice, that it's a lot smaller, the Xbox 360 Slim, compared to the Elite, the outgoing model. Also know that, that they got rid of the snap-off hard drive right there, and the ones built in in the very bottom here. The other thing you need to notice is there is a glossy piano black finish right here, and there is a matte black finish on this one. The big, huge difference between the two consoles, there is a huge difference between the cooling. There's a hundred, I think it's a hundred millimeter fan right there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not really sure. They got rid of the, the memory card slot, which are the two bottoms right there, and there is an annual here. Now, let me show you the big differences between the fans. Here is the huge fan right here, and there's a huge vent on the bottom, a huge vent on the top. No vents in the back, but you don't really need it. And with the older Xbox 360, you got two kind of vents right here. You got two fans right here, and two bottom ones right here. And on the bottom, you got you know a tiny, a kind of big one right here. The top, a tiny one there. So the whole system only had three USBs: one, two, and three. And the new one, you have five USB ports. There are two right here: one, two, three, four, five. This one also has the Connect Ready port right there. This is upside down, and this is the optical cable. This is separate, it's actually in the system instead of having an adapter for the older one. Also know that they changed the power connection on the newer one. See it looks a little bit different there. And the old one looks more like a blocky type of connection, it's kind of weird. Looks right here. And now between performance wise of these two consoles, it's not much of a difference and the the chipset is exactly the same, the old Jasper one for the Xbox 360, but booting up times and some loading the games are three seconds faster. It's not it's not that much faster than the new one. And the hard drives I wanted to show you, so you just click the old one you just click and pop out, which everyone knows. And the new one you just flick this up and you pull this tab here and you get your 250 gigabyte hard drive, which is a lot smaller. I believe it's the same uh, RPMs for the hard drive, 7200 RPMs for the hard drive, but it's a lot smaller and it's pretty nice. And still made in China, blah blah blah. Yep, it's the same type of hard drive, just in a smaller packaging. But it's really convenient for you guys who want to switch, swap hard drives if you're going to each other's houses and want to, you know, have a different profile instead of buying the USB stick. Very convenient. Nice, nicer design. Also, I forgot to mention that the two controllers are way different as cosmetic wise. Here's the older one. You know, it's a pretty nice controller. The guide button is matte, silver finish. Um, also, know that there are grayish analog sticks here and the very bottom and the top, or the top and just the bottom. On the newer one, it's all black. Everything is black. Glossy black on the bottom, glossy black on the top and black analog sticks. Um, you get your black control analog here and you get your silver chromed out guide button right there. And that's pretty much the difference between the two controllers. They're literally the same, just that cosmetic wise it looks a bit different. I hope you guys like this comparison video. If you want me to, if I forgot something, please let me know. If you want to know a little bit more, put a comment below and I'll make a new video. Until then guys, please comment, rate, and subscribe and peace.